Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we'll be discussing the problem check if frequencies can be equal. So in this particular problem, you'll be given a string which will consist of lowercase characters only. And what you have to check is that if it is possible that by removing at most one character from the given string, uh, the frequency of each distinct character in the string becomes the same, then you have to return true. Otherwise, you have to return false. So if you will see, suppose that you have the test case as x, x, x and uh, let's say you have y, then you have got y and then you have got uh, y and again you have got x. So if you will see this particular test case, so x is having the frequency as 4 and y is having the frequency as 3. So can you remove at most one character, maximum by removing one character, can the frequency of all the characters become same, all the distinct character become same? Yes. For this test case, the answer would be yes. The reason for that is, because you can see that the character x is having the frequency as 4, y is having the frequency as 3. So in this particular case, if you remove one of the x, then in that case, the frequency of all the characters becomes the same here. Right. So one of the things is that if I take absolute difference of the frequency and it is less than equal to 1, okay, then it is possible. Now, one more thing is that uh, if suppose that I had only got x, right, if I had got, let's say, 6x, so x uh, was present 6 times in this string. So if there is only one distinct frequency, then the answer would always be possible, okay. Otherwise, uh, when can the answer be not possible? So if suppose that if I have a string where I have got x four times, then I've got y uh, three times, and then I have got z two times. So suppose there is a case like this. So if x is having the frequency as four, y is having the frequency as three, and z is having the frequency as two. So in this case, you can see that in order to make all the frequencies same, I need to remove two x and one y, which is not possible because I can remove at most one character. So in this particular case, I can say that I can store all the frequencies inside a set or I can keep a track of the distinct frequencies. If the number of distinct frequencies are more than two, okay, if there are more than two distinct frequencies, then the answer would not be possible. Why? Because you can see one of the frequencies is four, then three and then two. So this is not possible because suppose that if, I, if there was a test case where I, where I had the frequency of A as five, the frequency of B, let's say, was 4. Let's say the frequency of three was th uh, C was 3 and the frequency of D was, let's say, 2. So if there were four different frequencies, then I cannot uh, remove one character and make all the distinct characters have the same frequency. So if the, like, what I will do is I'll store the frequency of all the characters first of all inside a map. And after that, I will insert all the frequencies inside the set. If the set size is 1, then I would be returning true that if there is only one distinct character, uh, whatever frequency it has doesn't matter the answer would be true because there's only one distinct character and uh, the answer is always possible otherwise suppose that if there are more than two distinct frequencies right so if there are more than two distinct frequencies then the answer would never be possible and we will be returning false if suppose that there are two frequencies right two different frequencies then in that case i will uh, check the difference right if the difference is less than equal to one right for example you can see the first test case that i explained four minus three is what four minus three is basically less than equal to one so in that case what we will do is we'll return true that yes the answer would be possible and another case could be that suppose that if you have two frequencies and uh, suppose that the difference might not be equal to uh, uh, one okay suppose that if we have a case like we have got x x x x and uh, x so we have got x five times okay and we have got y only one time so in this case, the answer is also possible because if uh, any frequency is 1, so you can see that y is having the frequency as 1. So yes, it can be removed here. Why it can be removed here? Uh, the reason for that being because uh, uh, if y is only occurring one time, so if I remove that guy, then after that, the all the distinct characters will have the same frequency. So this is another test case that you can think about. Okay, and you can think about a lot of test cases, but these are the edge cases that we need to take care of. Okay, now if you will see what will be the time complexity for the approach that we have taught. So the time complexity would be nothing but basically order of n because we will be traversing throughout the string. What would be the space complexity? Even if you use, uh, if you have 26 distinct characters, even then it will be order of 26 or you can say roughly order of n, 1 that is constant space because we won't be taking any extra space. If you want, we can do this problem without set or map also. But for this problem, for the sake of simplicity, I'll be first storing the frequencies inside a map. And then after that, I'll be inserting them inside the set. Okay. So let's quickly code this and complete the approach. So what we will do here is we will simply say that uh, we will declare a map, let's say unordered. 
map and which will be having the character the first part will basically be the character and the second part will be an integer let's name it as mp and then what we will do is we'll say that uh, we'll iterate through the string so int i starts from 0 i is lesser than uh, s dot size and then after that what we will do is we'll do i plus plus okay then after this what we will do is we'll uh, say that mp of s of i would be incremented so we'll increase the frequency and then after i have got the frequency then what we need to do then after this we'll declare a set so let's say we'll have set int st and inside this set what we will be doing is we'll be storing the freak uh, all the distinct frequencies so you can see that i'll be iterating uh, through uh, the map okay and we will simply say that auto i is to mp so i'll iterate through the key value pair and i'll store all the frequencies so st dot insert i dot second so basically what we will do is we'll store the frequencies here and once this is done then after this what will uh, be the criteria so if the set size is equal to one so if uh, there is only one uh, distinct frequencies in that case the answer is always possible and will return true okay otherwise uh, suppose that what happens is else if the set size suppose if it is greater than two so if there are more than two distinct frequencies then the answer would never be possible and we should return false here now in the other case what we can do is we can simply in the else case we can say that if there are two frequencies right so then we can say that uh, the frequency one would be nothing but uh, the first element of the set that we can get by doing st dot begin star st dot begin it will give us the first frequency and then int f2 will be what uh, uh, like we can basically do star of uh, plus plus st dot begin so that will basically give me the second frequency and once the, I get that, so I'll check if the absolute difference uh, between the frequency 1 and the frequency 2, if it is less than equal to 1, okay, uh, if it is, well, let's say 1, then we will do what? Then we can also return or true, okay, or suppose uh, in the else case, we can also write that else if the frequency 1 equal equal to 1 or the frequency 2 equal equal to 1, then in that case also, we can simply return true here, okay. In the other cases, we have to simply return false so in the else case you can simply return false here and this is how all the edge cases would get covered let's now try and compile this code to check if it is working or not so i guess it is taking a bit of time okay it is working fine on the samples now let's try and submit this code as well so you can clearly see that our code was able to pass all the test cases i hope that you have understood this problem clearly in case if you have any doubt you can ask them in the comments and make sure to hit the like button and comment down understood as well thank you